Hello everybody, my name is Ben and welcome to Minnesota Sports HQ. If this is your first time watching, we kind of cover daily recaps of all the Minnesota sports teams and occasionally we have other videos uh, that we bring to the channel on the days where there's no sports going on in the state of Minnesota. Now today we had the Wild, the Timberwolves, and the Gophers men's basketball teams play and uh, I have to say, um, I'm pretty happy about how tonight went, and uh, we'll get to that right now, starting with the Wild. The Wild had a great game against the Blackhawks today, obviously, same division rivalry, and uh, actually we're both fighting for a playoff spot right now, halfway through the season, we're pretty much neck and neck. Uh, for the Blackhawks, Brent Seabrook scored 12 minutes into the first period. Jonas Brodeen for the Wild scored 10 minutes into the second period, and Ryan Suter got the winner for the Wild three minutes into the third period. So the defenseman really stepping up for the Wild in this game. Uh, the Blackhawks had more shots. Um, that's be probably because they were losing in the third period, added a little bit more pressure to the Wild's net. But 35 shots for Chicago, 27 for the Wild. Uh, actually, this is a crazy stat. The Wild had 31 hits, and the Blackhawks had 8. So, you can tell who really wanted to win this game. And the Wild were definitely ready for it. The Wild had Dubnik back in net, so that was a great boost. And, uh... Also, both teams went 0 for 3 on their respective power plays. Now, how does this game affect the standings? Well... The Wild and the Blackhawks were actually tied on points for the last wild card spot, and uh, they still could be. Uh, Chicago's two points behind Minnesota, but they have a game in hand. Uh, Calgary is two points behind Minnesota as well, but they have two games in hand. But right now, Minnesota holds that last wild card spot, and we're actually one point behind Dallas. For that first wild card spot, but they they have a game in hand as well. And actually, looking at this, Colorado has three less games played, and they're three points behind us. So this could all be very interesting. And Anaheim actually creeping up close too. Uh, looking at the division, though, the Wild actually moved up to fifth with this win. Um, and Dallas is very close to striking distance, and actually we're kind of creeping up on St. Louis. If we win both our games in hand, we're actually one point behind them, and that is great. But uh, I'm really excited to see a wild card race finally heat up. I mean, it's just going to be wild, isn't it? Um, but now we are going to go ahead and move on to the NBA game, and... The Timberwolves played the Oklahoma Thunder, obviously the Oklahoma Thunder having stars like Paul George, Carmelo Anthony, and Russell Westbrook, and, uh, you know, over the last six or seven games, the Wolves' defense has really improved, I mean, against the Cavs, holding them under 100, the Thunder today with 88 points. Uh, the Wolves have looked good, even without Jeff Teague. Tyus Jones has really stepped up, and I'm pretty proud to see him do what he's doing. As I mean, he is a he is a Minnesota boy, so let's not forget that. Uh, a few stats: Paul George for OKC had 13 points, Carmelo had 15, and Russell Westbrook had 38. Wow! So didn't really contain Westbrook, but I mean, can't say many people in the league can contain Westbrook. Over on the Wolves' side, though, Andrew Wiggins had 19 points. Taj Gibson finished with 9. Carl Anthony Towns finished with 18. And man, he had a monster dunk tonight. Uh, Jimmy Butler had 26 points. Great showing from him. And Teague, on his day back, had 8 points. It's pretty good for him. 
Uh, Jamal Crawford off the bench had eight. Always love to see the production from him. And how does that affect the standings? Well, the Wolves are still in fourth at 27 and 16, but that does bring them a game and a half behind the San Antonio Spurs. And equal to that, we're still three and a half games behind Houston, and Golden State's currently playing right now, but let's be honest, we're going to be like seven and a half games behind them too. Pretty big lead for us over the five and six seed. And actually, we have a four-game lead over Portland in fifth and a four-and-a-half over Oklahoma City in sixth. Um, you know, if the Wolves played Oklahoma City in the playoffs, I don't even think I would be too upset. Not because it, it's, it would be a very hard series, but just we, we always seem to beat them even though we don't always play our best. I mean, we've beaten them three times this season, lost once. The two previous times we beat them, we definitely did not deserve to beat them. And the time they beat us, they didn't deserve to beat us. So it would just be a really interesting playoff series, I think, to watch. And according to my favorite website, playoffstatus.com, the Timberwolves have a 99% chance to make the playoffs at the moment. Now that doesn't take into account power rankings. It just looks at the record, looks at the teams below them the remaining schedule. It takes all that into account with an algorithm and shows you the odds of what seed they're going to get. And right now, playoff status is saying they could get the 3, 4, or 5 most likely pretty easily. And uh, actually, going back to the wild, playoff status had them at a 49% chance to make the playoffs. But, you know, I can't say that's horrible with the wild card race we're having right now. And now the last game of the day, the Minnesota Golden Gophers men's basketball team played Northwestern. Now, it's just all falling apart for the Golden Gophers. Lost Eric Curry at the start of the season, torn ACL. That just really seems to be a Minnesota injury, doesn't it? Just, oh, you're a good player. Torn ACL. Seems like that's what happens, but, you know, that's how things roll. Uh, Amir Coffey missing some games for a shoulder injury. And then, of course, we had the sexual assault scandal for Reggie, Reggie Lynch, and he has the possibility of being expelled. And I would really hate to see that because he is a great player. But, I mean, right now, we just look completely toast. We only scored 21 points in the first half to their 43. Second half was pretty even, but we ended up losing 83-60 to to Northwestern. Now... That really hurts us in the standings because, I mean, we're 2-3 and three now in the conference. And, I mean, we haven't even played that hard of a schedule. I mean, we're 13-5 and five overall. I mean, we're still ranked number 71 in the nation, but it's, it's not looking good, guys. Golden Gophers, so much hope at the beginning of the season. And here they are, not, not doing too well, I'd have to say. And uh, playoff status kind of agrees with, with me on that. 41% uh, chance of making it to the big dance, March Madness. And that's about right. I pretty much agree with that. Seems pretty reasonable not to expect an NCAA tournament with how we're playing at the moment. It's, it's not good. But uh, that'll wrap it up for today. Uh, three teams played, so quite a lot to talk about. Uh, no sports teams play tomorrow, so look out for a special video then. Big hint right now, I might be looking at the NFL playoffs and doing a preview on those. So be excited for that tomorrow, and we'll see you then. Good night, everyone.